Okay, example seven. Let's take a look. Uh, this is the pulse rate. I would really strongly suggest that when you read stats question, don't just zoom into the table. You have to read carefully in the context of the problem. All right. Pulse rate T minutes after the student stop exercising makes sense. Of course, you stop. As T increase, your pulse rate should decrease. Makes perfect sense. Yes. Calculate the product moment correlation coefficient. Remember not. Can, right? No big deal, right? So you just key in all this data in and key all this data in. Find R. Okay? I'm. If you want, you can use it as a practice. But anyway, answers are printed here. Okay? Answer printer, just make sure if you want to practice, do a quick enter of your values and make sure you can get the right R. Now, can I have attention, please? Whether you put T on P or P on T, you will get the same R. Makes perfect sense. Huh? Correct? R is just a measure of correlation. Whether T on P or P on T should be the same. So for this part, whichever one you use is fine. You can still find out. T on P or P on T. Can I have attention please? Okay. Can we then determine what is the independent variable? Which one? T or P? T, very good, because you take a look at this experiment, you actually measure the pulse rate at 0.5 minutes, 1 minutes, 1.5. You actually control your time. Then you measure the pulse rate. So very clearly, time is the independent variable. Therefore, in order to estimate the P, at t equals to 2.5. So actually, to simplify this problem, what you want is actually to find p equals to what when t equals to 2.5. Now we are trying to find that. And since t is the independent variable, whatever you do, you will find the regression line of p papaya on t. Okay, are we able to very quickly find this? Using GC. Just enter only, right? Okay. Yes, and then, 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 then all the values and you can get. Okay, let's verify our answers. Okay, uh, note, um, I expressed this to 3 SF, but when in actual fact, when you want to calculate, make sure you give to more, give more SF. Okay, when you want to calculate. So therefore, we if we want to find when t is 2.5, when t is 2.5, you just substitute 2.5 in, you will get the value of p. And take note, look here, I give to 5SF, 5SF for calculation because my final answer, I require it to be 3SF accurate. Thanks, Iskandar. <laughs> okay. Next, use a regression line to give the best estimate you can have of the time when the pulse rate reaches 75. Now, which means you want to know at P equals to 75, what is the value of T? Can I ask a very quick question? 
do you find another regression line? No. Very good. Because you have already identified that the time is the independent vector. V variable, sorry. Okay? So surely time will affect P. So it doesn't make sense to find another regression line. You will use the, exactly the same regression line, then you change P to 75 to find what is the value Okay, you just change P to 75, then you just solve for this, which is just pure um, arithmetic, you get T. We're going to contrast this with example 8 later, okay? We're going to contrast this with example 8 because this one, you just use one regression line, no big deal, done. Alright? Example 8. Again, like I always say, you read the question clear, um, carefully, understand the context. This is the score of a Christmas exam. This is a score of a summer exam. All right, and you take note just like that. Now, if you look carefully at how we obtain the data, it's just saying a random student I pick. His score is 57 for this, summer it score is 66. I pick another student, 35, 51. So that really, if you think clearly about it, just by this action of picking two, picking anyone randomly, there is no independent variable. There really isn't. Okay? Regardless which one comes first, doesn't matter. Not the chronological order, it's not important. Okay? So, do we know how to calculate x bar, y bar? Okay, you, of course, you use your scientific calculator, eh, 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 divide by, divide by 2, 4, 6, eight, 9, you are done. Or, are we able to use GC for this? Yes, yes huh? so actually, I think I better write a comment. Or, using GC. You just say x bar equals to 63, y bar equals to 61.3. Now, when you use GC, you really don't need all this working. Just value. Because GC is able to give you the values directly, x bar, y bar. X bar. So this is L1, this is L2. So you calculate one variable step for L1, calculate one variable step for L2, you should be able to find x bar, y bar directly. Do you know what I'm saying? Part two, sketch the above data and plot x bar, y bar. Can or not? Can, right? You just use the scatter plot, just read your just for you guide. The just for you guide will give you this diagram. All right? And, okay, ignore this one. Huh? This one is part three. Okay? And ignore the line. Okay, ignore the line. Just for part two, really, it's just it for now. Okay? There's no line for now. Just all the points and all the, and the x bar, y bar. Okay? You have to plot a specific point x bar, y bar. Now, this one no big deal, quite easy. Next, you are required to find the equation of the estimated regression line of y on x. Okay. I'll give you about two minutes to find y on x. Hey, sorry. Yes, any problems? Can I make sure you can get the answer? Y on X should be this. And draw this line on the graph. Can I very... This is important. 
Then we start to draw this line here. Now, can we all make sure, of course, this is drawn for you. Can you all make sure that the regression line should definitely pass through x bar, y bar? Remember, one of the properties of a regression line, it must pass through x bar, y bar. Here, I know it's done for you, but you all you make a note that this one must pass through this. If you look at the sequence of the problem, they ask you to put the dots first, including x bar, y bar. Then they trick you. They ask you to sketch regression line. Okay, then you anyhow sketch. You forgot that it must pass through x bar, y bar. Chances are la, you may forget. Follow? Yeah? Last part. A 10th student obtained a mark of 70 in the Christmas exam but was absent from the summer exam. Alright? So now, okay, here, he got x equals to 70. And what is y? Correct? x equals 70, what is y? Now you already found y on x. So this one very easy. Okay? You know, really very easy because there is no independent variable but yet you want to find y given x so you have actually found the correct regression line just substitute and we are done okay sorry I meant to con just now I went to contrast this example 7 with example 9 okay example 9 is the one that we have to sketch two different regression lines Later we'll take a look. Okay? Example 9. Very long, very wordy, but never mind. You are given x and y. Calculate the linear correlation coefficient between x and y, no big deal, and comment upon the result. Okay, this is the part. Uh, the calculation by now, all of you are very familiar. Am I right? The calculation is, you, you are really quite familiar. The important thing now is we are to comment on the result. How do we really comment on the result? Good, bad, lousy, not bad, very good, what? So far we only have the R, so we need to comment on the R. Do you recall what does R is equals to 0 0.9 actually mean? Hey, someone come, come on. High degree of correlation, very good. Okay, close, very good. High degree of correlation. There's one missing word. Linear, excellent. Okay, linear. If when R, R actually measures linear correlation, there's another word missing. Positive, excellent. So, three important words, huh? Since 0 0.903 is approximately equals to 1, it could be a, there could be a strong, positive, and linear correlation. It's strong because it's close to 1. Positive, of course. Alright? It's, it's not negative 0 0.9. It's positive. That means x increase, y increase. Linear, of course, when we say R, we always measure linear correlation. We don't measure anything other than that. So, between X and Y, of course. Next, equation of regression line. Okay? You are required to calculate the equation of the regression line of y on x and use it to estimate 
It's not very easy. Uh. They even tell you which regression time to use and use it to estimate. So no big deal. We can find it, okay? I'm not about to ask you to use your GC. Let's assume that everybody is quite competent in this. All right? You will get this. Okay, let's assume everybody is good and can get this. So when you want to use when x equals to 9, what is y? Again, no big deal. Just substitution. Everybody is quite good at this. All right? Comment on the reliability of this estimate. Good or not good? Are we able to use the regression line to, to say that someone at 9 years old will be 1 to 8 cm? Can or cannot? Don't just say good. Comment on the reliability. Reliable. Do you think you will get the marks? Don't just say reliable, okay? You must tell me why. Why do you think it's reliable? Sorry? Very good. Okay, it's within the range of x. Some more? Now, if your r is 0 0.01, if this one earlier, your r, your correlation coefficient is 0 0.01, do you think you still want to use the regression line to estimate? No, because your dots are over the shop. But you still manage to find a regression line, of course. So, you must first mention that first, it is close to 1, that means it's good co linear correlation. Second, x equals to 9 lies within this range, of course. Then you can interpolate and say, oh, okay, x falls within, x is about 9, we can use the linear regression line to The estimate is reliable. Okay? So two things, yeah? One, R is close to one. Two, X equals to nine fall within the range of X, which where you collected the data from. Okay? Next. Comment on the state the value of y when x equals to 40. x equals 40 means the guy is 40 years old. Okay, la, still reasonable. Then you calculate y da, 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 is 266 c m. Whoa. I don't even know what is the guinea, what is the tallest, what was the height of a tallest man in the world? <laughs> I don't know, but is it reasonable to say that it's 26? Firstly, of course, you, sus you smell a rat because 26 is really too tall. Second, your data collected is between 6.6 .6 years old to 13.5. So, you, if you look at it, your data collected is from like that. This is 6.6 to 13.5. Then you try and draw a regression line. Now what you try to do is to say, oh, extend, 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 oh, this is 40. Oh, then this can extend. Now this extrapolation, this extrapolation is dangerous and really most of the time not useful. Do you know what I'm saying? Because when you, when you draw the regression line, the blue line here, it, is applicable only for that range that you collected. You only say that from x between 6.6 .6 and 13.5, the relationship is roughly linear, positive correlation. You cannot say the same for x equals to 40. Way too much. Okay? So, final answer. It's not meaningful, of course, because the regression line is only valid.
Okay. Example 10. State what is meant by the term least squares in the context of regression line. Illustrate with the aid of diagrams the quantities being minimized in the cases of regression line of big Y on X and small big X on Y. So this is a challenging bit. This, this one really tests your big understanding of your, your understanding of regression line. Y on X or X on Y. Now, if this is Y, this is X, the term least square, when you, when you try and find the regression of Y on X, you are trying to minimize which distance? Vertical distance or horizontal distance? Vertical distance. So you are to use the diagram to tell me that for each data point P, you are trying to minimize the summation of P squared. That means this is P1, Q1, this distance. P2, Q2, this distance. And you sum them all up. And you square them and sum them all up. This is the distance that you want to minimize. Hey, this one not given. Eh? You're not copying. Eh? Given? Eh? Oh, given. The dots are given, right? But the, this one, P and Q are not given, right? Yeah. Huh? Oh? Okay? So this distance you want to minimize because you actually want to find y on x. You minimize this distance. In the case of x on y, which means for you, what do you use it for? You are saying that oh, I'm given a value of y, I want to find out x. So you're actually trying to minimize the horizontal distance, the error, the horizontal error. All right, so I'm quite sure you know by now. You want to minimize this P1, Q1 horizontally, measured horizontally and P2, Q2 square, P3, Q3 square, and on and on. Do you understand what I'm talking about here? Yes? Okay. Calculate the linear product moment correlation coefficient. Okay, again, it's very easy. Just put into your calculator. The calculator will give you an answer. Next. The question asks, is it appropriate, is it appropriate to find, to use the regression line D on T? Sorry, I better give you the question. State giving a reason if it's appropriate to use D on T to calculate and estimate for D equals to 100. You want to find out when D equals to 100, what is the value of T? Okay, this gets a bit confusing, but you must read it very slowly and carefully. I'll give you a bit of time to digest, okay? Do you think it is appropriate to use D on T to find at D equals 100, what is the value of T? First of all, the big question you've got to ask yourself is, are there any independent variables? Because if there's independent variable, then you will just use one regression line all the way. Okay. Distance time. 
look at how we collect the data. Delegates who travel by car are asked to report, that means declare, just declare the distance. That means when I collect the sample, I don't say, oh, you travel this distance, only 100 click, I collect your time. 200 click, I collect your time. 300 click, I collect your time. No. When I collect the data, they are just required to report. That means I pick any delegate, you, what distance? 113. Time? 130 minutes. Another delegate, randomly, 1425, 98180. So when you do that kind of collection of data, actually there is no independent variable. It's not like a science experiment. When you do science experiment, you say you, you control the time. 10 minutes, I collect weights. 20 minutes, I collect weights. Uh, that is controlled. The, meet, the time is controlled. But in this case of data collection, the delegates are asked to report. Just report. Just like a H2 math score, H2 econ score, I ask you to report. There is no control variable. There is no independent variable. So in this case, if there's no independent variable, in order to find D equals to 100, and what is the T, you should use T on D, not D on T. So answer here, It is not appropriate since neither variables D nor T are independent. Okay, not neither are independent. So in order to find the T, the time, the regression line of T on D should be used. Okay? Is that all right? Actually, the question very, very, um, very easy, right? They already asked you whether it's appropriate. Then next, they ask you to find using the appropriate regression line. So surely no la. Otherwise, how will they ask you to find, right? Surely the first answer should be no, uh, if you read on, correct? So you are to find the appropriate regression line, okay? Appropriate regression line. So again, we are not going to, okay, uh, for this case, I just want to make sure that you all know how to find regression line. Um, can we all practice? Come, I want to see your answers. Come, uh, I'll give you about two, three minutes, scan. Okay, you are required to find the regression of T on D. Okay, make sure you take out GC and let me have a look.
Can you answer? Can you get some answer? I don't know whether right or not, right? Okay, let's compare answers. Ken? 3.43 plus 1.24D. So once you get that, you substitute D equals 100, we're done. Okay, don't, cannot find answer or the answer wrong, please put a star there, make sure you can get it next time. Okay, after the lecture. Okay, when D equals 100, therefore you just substitute in, we are done. Okay. Okay, today I'm a bit kind. I will give you an early break. Okay? <laughs> early break, uh, break, I'm not to release you all. Uh. Oh, I think well, I still have two more examples to go. Okay? Um, 10 minutes. Okay, 12.03. Round down, thank you. 12. Shub says 12, round down. 12 noon. 12.03. Okay, don't bargain. You think what? Market. Okay, see you.